Well, hello all. You know how I always say that these conferences, these environmental conferences don't do any good? It's because of what's happening with the plastics conference. The uh, plastics conference has more delegates going to it right now this weekend than any s amount of scientists or environmentalists. They have completely overtaken the conference and are weakening it as we speak. And that's why I have so little confidence in any of these conferences, regardless of it's COP 28, 29, 30, whatever, or any environmental conference, because industry comes in and they take it over and they pay off the scientists and the environmentalists millions of dollars of money and contributions to to politicians and the like and they end up with such a weak conference that it doesn't go anywhere anyway and that's exactly what's happening with the plastics conference this weekend it should be over tomorrow today is Sunday and the wind is now blowing hard but let's give this a try anyway the wind wasn't blowing when I left Texas officials reject climate science Texas officials are calling for climate denial in textbooks this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Seven of the 12 proposed science eighth grade textbooks were rejected by the Republican controlled state board of education because they propose solutions to the climate emergency. 12 proposed science textbooks called on their publishers to remove content deemed false or presenting a negative portrayal of oil and gas. According to Texas, the U.S. future generations don't need a leftist agenda brainwashing them in the classroom to hate oil and gas, said Republican state energy regulator Wayne Christian. I just can't believe these Republicans. They're so anti-environment. According to Freedom of Expression, defunders say only Florida bans more books in schools than Texas during the 2022-2023 academic year. The first U.S. GOP president debate, they were asked, do you believe human behavior is causing climate change? Raise your hand if you do. None did. More than 3,000 temperature records were shattered in the U.S for the month of July alone in 2023. This is something scientists say would be virtually impossible without human-caused climate change. 62% of all voters in the U.S. recognize climate change is caused by human activity. The GOP is making climate a culture war issue. Deny, deny, deny. Delay, delay, delay. That's what they should just use as the Republican mantra because they use it in everything. Deny, 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 delay, 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 and until eventually it just goes away. You know, I, I just, I'm amazed. But humans that vote for the wrong group of people to be in office are at cause for all this denial and not doing anything about climate change. It's up to us to push these environmental conferences so that something actually does take place. You know, I'm going to do an update on the, uh, the plastics conference later on, maybe this week or next week, if I can find some information on it. But until then, I uh, won't be talking much about it, I don't think. So, we had a little bit of rain last night, just a little bit to cover the ground. Nothing of any measurable amount. And I appreciate any comments you have on this, any ups, any new subscribers, and until next time.